In this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between a TP-Link TL-WN-722N version one Wi-Fi adapter and a version two or version three Wi-Fi adapter. I recently ran a poll on my YouTube channel and it looks like most of you are using TP-Link Wi-Fi adapters. Now there is a difference between a version one and a version two or three Wi-Fi adapter. The chipset within these adapters changed. Why do you care? because by default, this Wi-Fi adapter supports packet injection and monitoring mode, but this one doesn't. On the documentation on the Aircrack website, which I read, I was led to believe that you cannot do packet monitoring and packet injection using a version two or version three Wi-Fi adapter because the chipset changed. However, when I mentioned that on my previous video where I discussed a whole bunch of Wi-Fi adapters, many of you commented and said that you got this to support packet injection and monitoring mode by changing the drivers on the Wi-Fi adapter. So thanks very much for sharing that. I went and did some research and for everyone's benefit, I'm now gonna show you the differences between these two Wi-Fi adapters. What happens by default when you use this within Kali Linux? In my example, it's gonna be 2021.1 and how that compares to say this Wi-Fi adapter. And then I'm gonna show you how to get a version two or version three TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter to work within Kali so that it supports packet monitoring and packet injection. So in other words, I'm gonna cover a whole bunch of stuff in this video. Use the timestamps here or below to jump to the relevant part of the video. If you're only interested in getting this Wi-Fi adapter to work, so installing the correct drivers, I've put the commands below this video. So you can simply copy the commands below if you've got a version two or version three adapter and you need to make this work. I did some research, found some examples online, but they didn't work for me. So I've now put together a list of commands that worked for me with Kali 2021.1. Let me know if it works for you. You've got to upgrade your operating system as an example and install various software packages to make it work. But before we get started, I wanna ask you a favor. One of my goals this year is to reach a million subscribers on YouTube. I wanna ask you to help me reach that goal. So if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. Okay, let's get started. Now, personally, I wouldn't recommend these adapters. If you can, buy an alpha adapter or something else. But I know for a lot of you, it's very difficult to purchase alpha adapters. They're too expensive and you can't buy them in the country that you're in. A lot of people from India, as an example, have told me that this is the best adapter for them. So that's why I'm gonna go through the details of this adapter. I know a lot of you use this adapter. Now, what I've got in this example is Kali running within a virtual machine on my Mac. I've also got it running within a virtual machine on a Windows laptop. So I've got Kali within VMware Fusion as well as a VMware player. I'll plug in this version one adapter into the Windows computer and this version three adapter into the Mac so that we can compare the differences. So on Windows, I'm gonna connect the version one adapter to Kali. Notice the chipset used. And I'll now connect the version three adapter to my Mac. And on my Mac, I'm asked whether I wanna connect this to Linux or my Mac. I'm gonna connect it to Linux. Okay, so I'm gonna be jumping between Kali on Windows and Kali on my Mac, and I'll show you the differences between the two network adapters. Okay, so on Windows, I'll open up a terminal. IWconfig shows me that I've got a WLAN Wi-Fi connection at the moment it's in managed mode. LS USB shows me the chipset used by this Wi-Fi adapter. Now if yours shows auto here, that's fine. On a version one adapter, I'll show you how to set this into monitor mode. Okay, so this is my Mac running Kali within VMware Fusion. This is a version two adapter. IWconfig shows me the nickname for the Wi-Fi adapter. Its mode is in managed mode at the moment. Yours may come up as auto once again, and I'll show you that trying to change this to monitor mode causes problems. LS USB. We can see that this is a version two, version three adapter. You can see that it's got a real tech chipset. That's different to the Atheros or Theros chipset in the version one adapter. 
So version one, version two. Now, if you wanna get more details, you can use LSB dash D dev bus USB and then specify the adapter. So this is bus to device two. So scrolling up, we can see the device ID information, we can see the vendor code, we can see the chipset used, Realtek chipset, 802.11n NIC on this chipset. That's once again different to the one running in Windows. So Alice USB dash capital D dev bus USB 002 in this example, 003. Scrolling up, we can see the device ID information, we can see the vendor, we can see the product ID, we can see manufacturer, USB version 2 WLAN, serial number, and other information is displayed here. Okay, so that just shows me technical differences between the two adapters. What's nice about this command is either using that or just this, you can see a lot of information about the chipset used. So if you've got a Wi-Fi adapter and you weren't sure what chipset it was using, this shows you that information very nicely. Okay, but let's have a look at the problem on a version two adapter. If I type sudo mong kill check, this will kill any conflicting processes. Put my password in, so those processes were killed. I'll try and set this adapter to monitor mode. So using sudo mong start wlan zero, iwconfig has the mode changed? No, notice it's still managed mode. sudo mong ng. Notice still WLAN zero. We don't have it as WLAN zero mon. IWconfig once again shows us that this adapter is in managed mode. It's not going to work. So if I try and inject packets at this point, notice I get device failure. Now I mistyped the name. Let's try WLAN zero. Notice we get the error that we cannot set monitor mode on this Wi-Fi adapter. That's different to a version one adapter. So on the version one adapter on my Windows computer, so first thing is kill processes. Processes have been killed. Sudo mon ng start WLAN zero. I wanna set this into monitor mode. Notice we see here, monitor mode has started. IWconfig, notice the name has changed. That's different to what we had previously. Previously on the version two adapter, it didn't say monitor mode, it stayed in managed mode. If I simply use mong, so just sudo mong, you can see that the interface name is WLAN zero mon. Interface has once again changed to monitor mode, so we've proven that monitoring works. Let's try packet injection. So sudo air replay ng dash dash test WLAN zero mon. Notice packet injection is working. So packet injection works on a version one adapter. So you don't have to do anything with the version one adapter. It's, it works out of the box, plug it in. You can change it to monitor mode. You can do packet injection. With a version two adapter, that doesn't work, however. So once again, if I try and test uh, that interface, it doesn't work. If I try and use WLAN zero rather than WLAN zero mon, notice we get the error that we cannot set monitor mode on this Wi-Fi adapter. So again, with a version two or version three adapter, so TP-Link version two or version three using the Realtek chipset, I cannot set this to monitor mode. I cannot run packet injection without updating the driver. So now I'm gonna show you how to update the driver to get this to work. It's a long process, so once again, I've put the commands below. Okay, so once again, this is a version two or version three adapter, Realtek using this chipset. Let's get it to work so that we can put this interface into 
monitoring mode and inject packets. First command, sudo apt update to update references in Kali. Okay, next step, sudo apt upgrade to upgrade the operating system. Now this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna speed up the video at this point. You have to upgrade the operating system in my tests. Let me know if you didn't have to do that, but I had to upgrade the operating system to make this work in 2021.1. Okay, so the upgrade has completed. What I'm gonna do now is install BC. I'll clear the screen. Now you don't have to do this right now, but I found that it helps. So I'm gonna restart my Kali installation. You may wanna do that directly after the upgrade. Prompted to log in again, notice the GUI has changed. So after the upgrade, the installation changed. Okay, I'm gonna install some additional software. So install Build Essential, that's already there. Just wanna make sure that the software is in place. Now I'm gonna use this command, but in the comments, I've given you two options in case one of the commands doesn't work. But that's working for me. So that's good. I'm gonna make sure that DKMS is installed. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna remove this from the kernel. I don't wanna use the old driver. I wanna use the new driver with the TP-Link adapter. So I'm going to download this adapter from the Aircrack GitHub page. That's the new driver that I wanna use. Alice shows me my directories. I'm gonna go into that directory, clear the screen, move to root, echo that into the Realtek configuration file, exit out of root, and in my example, I found that it worked better if I rebooted at this point. Let me know in the comments if you found a quicker way of making this work, but sort of in my tests, and the amount of time that I've had, this is the process that worked best for me. Okay, log back into Kali. Open up a command prompt once again. Sudo apt update to make sure all my references are up to date. Okay, so you have to go back into the directory that we created. And now this is where you hope things work because we're going to compile the software. So sudo make. Looking good, software is being compiled. Okay, sudo make install to install the new driver and sudo mod probe 8188EU. Okay, so hopefully at this point, our software is gonna work properly. So I'll go to my home directory. iwconfig shows me my Wi-Fi adapter. Mode is auto at the moment. I'm gonna type sudo ifconfig WLAN zero down. Clear the screen. In airmon ng, I'm gonna kill the processes again. So sudo airmon ng check kill. And now let's check if we can set this adapter to monitor mode. Just before I do that, I'll clear the screen. iwconfig, notice the mode is auto. But when I set that again and type iwconfig, notice the mode has now changed to monitor mode. That wasn't possible with the previous drivers, but now it works. Sudo ifconfig wlan zero up. Bring the interface up. iwconfig again, everything looks good. We're in monitor mode. So let's test whether we can inject packets which we weren't able to do before. And there you go, packet injection is now working. One important note is we are using WLAN zero rather than WLAN zero mon, 
which is what we saw on the version one adapter. So on the Windows computer, IW config shows me that the interface is WLAN zero mon, whereas on the Mac, IW config shows me that the interface is WLAN zero. This interface is in monitor mode. There is a difference between that and the monitoring interface on the Windows computer. It's in monitor mode, but the name changes. So when you use commands, you have to remember that with a version two, version three adapter, you're just gonna use WLAN zero, but with a version one adapter, you're gonna use WLAN zero mon. That affects the commands that you use. Okay, that was a long video, but hopefully it helps many of you. Hopefully it solves the problem about getting a version two or version three adapter to use monitor mode. I personally wouldn't recommend this adapter. If you can buy a alpha adapter, I would use that. But I know for many of you, this is the best solution or the most cost-effective solution. So hopefully this helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. I wanna wish you all the very best.